Oregon made a very rare trip to the East Coast and they did not disappoint the fans that came out to see them in Charlottesville, Virginia. On the opening drive, Marcus Mariota took a quarterback draw 71 yards to the house and they did not look back cruising to a 59-10 win over Virginia. Uh, there are some things that need improvement. Marcus Mariota didn't have his greatest passing game for the second game in a row. He could be more crisp. Uh, I feel like in his redshirt freshman season, uh, one of you know his big strengths was his efficiency and his accuracy, completing I think almost 70% of his passes last year. Against Virginia, only completed 14 of 28 passes. So that's something that he can be better at, and he's doing so much with his legs that it hasn't mattered in terms of the final score. Uh, Byron Marshall didn't have a great game. Colt Lyerla had a few drops. So there are still things to improve upon, but... I think it's a great thing that Oregon can win two games by a combined score of 125 to 13 and still have room for improvement. Uh, the defense for Oregon was tremendous, shutting out Virginia in the second half, really imposing their will against an overmatched Virginia offense, forcing four turnovers, including three interceptions. Dior Mathis had the highlight of the day in terms of his 97-yard interception return, and Tony Washington had maybe the biggest hit since Deion Jordan against UCLA in the Pac-12 championship game a couple of years ago. Oregon now turns its attention to the Tennessee Volunteers, who come into Autzen with a 2-0 record in 2013. Uh, they've beaten, like Oregon, they've beaten two not very good teams. Uh, Tennessee's beaten Austin P and Western Kentucky. Oregon's offense will be facing a very opportunistic volunteer defense that's forced nine turnovers already in their first two games, including seven against Western Kentucky. Uh, on offense, Tennessee's going to look to run the ball behind one of the best offensive lines in the country. Uh, running backs Marlon Lane and Rajon Neal form that one-two punch for the Volunteers, and that's where they're going to you know, make their bread, gain their ground on offense. For Oregon's defense, uh, they're charged with bucking up to stop that run and make quarterback Justin Worley beat them through the air. Uh, Worley in his first season as Tennessee starter has been a very good game manager through the first two games but really hasn't been called upon to make plays and that's what Oregon's offense is going to or Oregon's defense is going to try and force Worley to have to do uh, in a very hostile Autzen Stadium environment. That's a first look at Tennessee. Uh, be sure to stay tuned to AddictedToQuack.com and here at the ATQ Tubes all week for news and analysis about the upcoming game on Saturday which will be at 12 30 p.m. on ABC. Check your local listings. It might be on ESPN2 as well for those of you that don't live on the West Coast. On the West Coast, it'll be on ABC. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, be sure if you're watching this on Monday to uh, tune into Monday Night Football tonight for Chip Kelly's debut as the head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles. I know there are a lot of Oregon fans that are excited uh, to see what Chip can do in the NFL. Uh, for Addicted to Quack.com, this is Takimoto. Go Ducks. We'll catch you next time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.